My next guest today is a Grammy-winning writer, producer, and DJ. Super famous, super cool, he's done it all. Worked alongside notable artists like 50 Cent, DJ Khaled, Nicki Minaj, Seal, Miles Davis, so many others. He's awesome. He's here today at the Wonder on the House Party. Please give it up for Rashad Smith and his family. What's going on, guys? Hi. Hi, family. Rashad, would you introduce us to your family? Yes. So here we have Nico, five years old. We have Manjus, 11 years old. Hello. And you have Hello. Atmos, almost two years old. And my lovely wife, Wabel. 33 years old. <laughs> Marvel, nice, nice to meet all you guys. Thank you so much for coming on Wonderama. Rashad, I got to ask you, I, mean, I grew up in music. Uh, my dad was a performer, and so it was kind of like the natural thing to fall into the business. Yeah. But I, I got a chance to see so many different styles of music. And what I love about you is, is you're prolific that way. You've, you've covered so many genres. And there's a record that you did featuring Robert Glasper, Miles Davis in the jazz world and hip hop and, and R&B. Tell me about that project specifically. I think it's fascinating. Oh, yeah. That project was pretty interesting. I mean, I, I think, uh, I, and, and I, I was uh, very honored to even get called to be a part of it because, I mean, Miles Davis, I mean, you know, Sketches of Spain is like one of my favorite albums and in a silent way, and you know, and it was just like, wow, like, you know, I, you know, to do a remix project or just a, I wouldn't even say remix, I, I would say rework and yeah. maybe just adding uh, things and just kind of, uh, uh, it, it almost felt like jamming along with Miles and, and being in the room with Miles Davis and, and the other incredible artists like Gil Evans and, and uh, Herbie Hancock. In our country, this is a big year, 2020, a lot of things have happened, but this is also a census year. This happens only once every 10 years, where kids especially get to be counted as well and yeah. vitally counted so that government resources, financial resources, get to the communities where they need the money, they need the programs. Uh, why is the census for you guys, from what you know about it, why is it important for you? Well, the census is important because it makes us count. And kids normally don't count on a lot of things. So what, what right now, how we're getting our own protests and we're getting to do our own speeches, where we're getting heard, and we're getting counted, it, may, it means a lot. Yeah, that's, that's cool. absolutely right. This is another way for their voices to be heard, another way for them to be represented um, in a world where they're not seen very much. It's really important that, that kids through this whole thing can really speak up because I mean, a lot of times that, you know, kids are told to uh, be quiet and, and it's be terrible. Be seen and not heard and you know, right. you can't, you yeah. can't be that way. There you go, man. And you're, you're doing just that. You're leading the way. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Uh, God bless you guys and be well, okay?